I have officially fallen down the TikTok rabbit hole. <laughs> When I say that, I have found so many fun Amazon finds from watching TikTok and I wanted to bring them to you today because they're really fun things. Some things are kind of frivolous and not necessary. Other things are very useful and very handy to have. One of the things that I'm gonna start off with right now is something that I found all by my lonesome so I can show that to you. And then by the way, if you're interested, the shirt can be linked. I did get it off of Amazon. It is the cutest shirt. I'll put a full size look of it right here so that you can see it has this lap over or you know wrap around type effect that really helps you ha show that you kind of have a waist and helps the girls look a little bit more lifted and a little bit more full which is helpful as you age let me pan you in and you can see the earrings and then the earrings they're way cute they're just a hoop and they have little dangles off of them and then the jewelry i forgot to put that on as i was talking into the into the very beginning of the video so i'm really excited about those that i can link those oh by the way the footage that i'm recording right now it got corrupted on the original video so about like five minutes in, you're going to actually see me change. I'm going to have different hair done and different clothes on. That's because that was the past me. This is future me. And I had to record this intro for you and a couple of products that I completely spaced off. So let's get into all these super fun Amazon finds that I got sucked in by TikTok by. All right, first of all is this little plastic thing that looks like a crystal bottle of perfume. It's not crystal, it's plastic, and it's really not a bottle of perfume. It's a fan. And I just thought this was so cute. It has three speeds, and hopefully you'll be able to hear that. I'm sure you will. It has three speeds, and I use this, I set it on my dresser or my nightstand, and I use it to dry my setting spray. Now, they have a lot of different fans that they have used forever for this, but I just thought this one was so cute and so much fun. And this little middle piece is a little medallion that will pop off. If I try to right now, I'm going to ruin a fingernail. But you just take it and you pop that off, and you can put a drop of essential oil in there. You can put a, a little spray of your favorite perfume in there if you want to, whatever you want to. I just... This is totally frivolous. It's one of those things that I really didn't need, but I wanted to have it because I just thought it was so dang cute. And they are everywhere. I mean, everybody is like all over these. I thought it was just adorable. Something fun that I can put in my purse if I want to, or just have it on my dresser too. So, so cute. Another one is this silicone holder for your makeup sponges. Now, I don't know about you, but when I do my use my makeup sponges, they still have makeup on them. They're still a little bit wet. This has saved everything else that I have in my makeup bag from getting that extra foundation on it. So you just put it down in there. It's pretty big. This has still got a lot of room and that has fully inflated from having the water in it. So you just put it in there, you cover it up or you put the top on and it is ventilated and then it's not getting all over your other makeup. I really have enjoyed that one. Another one that I was super excited about, including I do have another mirror in here, but this one goes on your visor in your car. I do my makeup in the car constantly because my husband and I are constantly on the go somewhere and the mirror that I have right now is this big. It's tiny. So when I saw this one, I was super excited about it. I have my charger on here that I'm going to show you in just a second. So I have to show you that is so bright. And when I got it, I'm like, that's going to be way too bright. It does have other settings that you can put it on, um, kind of a warmer setting. And I was like, dang it, this is too bright. And it's just going to absolutely blind me as I'm putting my makeup on. But if you hold the on off button, it will dim quite a bit. It will dim down to hardly anything. So it's bright, bright if you need it to be, or it will dim down. And I just think that that is 
absolutely fantastic. Hopefully you're being able to see um, what I'm talking about that it will dim. This is a great mirror. It's a huge mirror, completely covers your visor and you can charge it. And that's what's going on right now. You can charge it in your car and there are different settings on it. So I'm super excited about that. Now let's go over and look at that fun new thing that I have right there that I just barely got. And I cannot wait to show you how I'm storing my palette. All right, so as I pan away, you can see that it's a little ladder shelf, which I am so excited about. Look how many palettes are in that thing. So many. I went from the smallest on the top, and then I just went down and did the bigger ones. And then on the very bottom, I put all of my face palettes. And then on the second to the bottom, there's the very bottom right there. On the second to the bottom, I took my tiny palettes, my Elf Bite size, some of my Natasha Denona, a few of those. And I put those into a little acrylic organizer, which I love those things. I will link those for you too. Any drawer needs those. <laughs> I love them. So this has been so much fun and it has held all of my palettes. I have a lot of palettes and I have not been able to see them because some of them have been in a drawer. But this is so much fun. I am so excited that I got it and really happy that I found it. Another thing that I got is this. Now, I don't have this full because I wanted to show it to you empty first. This is a bag organizer for your purse that you put down in your purse and have all of your stuff organized. This is obviously a larger one. I think actually this is the medium one. They have one that is even bigger and they have some that are slimmer as well. So I wanted to show you this empty so that you can see what it also does. You can also take that middle part out and just carry this around if you need to. Maybe you need to run into the restroom and powder your nose or whatever. So it has a zipper on it and it can hold a lot in there. And then it has a pouch on one side and then three compartments that way. And then it will just Velcro right back in to there. So it's very easy to take in and out. And you can just load this with whatever you need to have in there. If you have a phone, it can go in there. If you wanna use this for makeup organization, you can put big palettes in there. You can just do just about anything you want to and put it in there. This would be great for a makeup organizer. If you wanted to use a regular purse instead of just a makeup bag, you could absolutely put this together as a makeup organizer and do it that way. And I am just so excited to have this because I used to have one a long time ago and it wasn't as sturdy as this one. The felt was a lot more flimsy and it just seemed to get dirty really quick and it ripped really quickly. But this one has just been so nice for me to be able to. And I don't have my purse stuff over here. I'd be putting all my purse stuff in it so you could see it. But this one is great to be able to organize everything. And then when you're ready you just and to switch purses, you just lift this out instead of dumping your purse out and having to reorganize. You just do that. So, so much fun. Two more pockets on the front right here. Just a great way to organize your purse and keep it organized. These have been around for years, but I loved how heavy duty and how durable this one seemed. So in there, I shoved this little product right here, which now that we have cell phones, we are always looking to charge them. They always seem to be running out at the most inconvenient times. But this thing right here is a portable charger. And I know that in our cars, we usually have, you know, the portable plugs with us, or it does seem really complicated place to go into a doctor's office or anywhere and see people plugging in their phone and just sitting there letting their phone charge. But this is a portable one, which I really love because it has the actual plugs already with it. So you get a USB and a USC on this side. And then on the other side, you actually have the Apple iPhone one, which I think is so cool that they put that in there. Also on the bottom, you do have the port so that you can put it in and plug if you have a specialty plug. I do on one of my skincare devices, I have a specialty plug that I have to use. So it's nice to be able to put that in there. And then right here on this side, it also has another plug that you can put in there. And then if you touch this right here, it's gonna light up and tell you how much battery life the portable charger itself has. So I think that's great. And then on the other side, it has the flip down outlet port or outlet plug in that you can plug that in anywhere instead of having to plug it in itself with its own own 
cord or its own charger, which I think is a great thing. And then it just flips up and it's flat. It's the size of a cell phone. I think that is absolutely great. And so you're not taking up a bunch of space and it's a lot lighter than my previous chargers were. And I think that's great about it too, because it, it, I mean, it still has some weight to it. It's still a little bit heavy, but it's nowhere near as heavy. It's heavier than a cell phone, but it's nowhere near as heavy as the old chargers were. So I'm really glad to have that. The last time that I was was at an airport when I went in everybody had those plugs being used so there was no way for me to charge my phone anyway so this was really great to be able to have and then I found this which I'm so excited about this is a kitchen gadget that you can fill up with your favorite oil or your favorite liquid I guess if you wanted to but this for me is going to be for olive oil and it does have the plunger down there and it also has this removable silicone top with a glass receptacle right here on the top that when you put it on to that dispenser you squeeze in and you're going to get the olive oil up here into this dispenser and on there it has little measurements on there so that you can dispense however much you actually need to so now instead of just pouring the bottle into your pan you know exactly how much is on here so this has um uh, 0.26 ounces six milliliters and nine milliliters so six milliliters is about a teaspoon so nine would be about a tablespoon and then you have the silicone little brush heads right here that you can dispense that with and you know you can coat your vegetables with it you can coat the bottom of your pan because this can go on anything hot too. So I'm really excited. I just got this a couple of days ago and I'm excited about using it and employing it in my kitchen because we do use a lot of olive oil and this just seems really handy to have around. Oh, and they do have it in a couple other colors. I think they had a green and an orange that I looked at, but I liked this color because my kitchen has kind of got red accents in it. And so this was kind of more of a neutral color that would kind of blend in with that. So I'm really excited to be able to use that. And then I wanted to show you this. This is cool. This is for any of you that have grandbabies at your house that maybe you're worried about, you know, when they start to crawl, they're right on the level of where the outlets are. So their eyes catch that outlet and they go over to it. And that's what ends up getting them in trouble. Why we have to have those covered with the little plastic covers. Well, this is a cover that will go all the way over your outlet. And then it has an eight foot cord on it that has the outlets on the other side. So this is just like an extension cord cord, which I'm super happy to have because I have a bunch of appliances on my counter and when I have to either unplug or plug in or the fact that they're sticking out away from the counter, the plug is sticking out away from the counter and it just looks kind of ugly to have that on there. So this completely covers your outlet. So it's a protection for any of those babies that are going around crawling or walking on that level. It's a protection for that. And then you can either, you know, hide this side of it or they do actually come with some covers that will cover this cord so that they don't chew on that cord either. Some protection that for that too. Now I can plug that in pull that cord down and just have one cord on my countertop and hide all those cords away. So I'm really excited to have this. I think it's a genius thing to use that you don't have to have your cords all sitting there waiting to be plugged in. Um, you can use three of them instead of two. I just thought this was a really great way to hide that outlet that is unsightly and also to keep those little ones protected. I'm pretty sure that I showed this on a very recent video, but every time I pull this out during a video to do something, I get asked, what mirror is that? This is a great mirror, it's called Lamsey. I found this mirror because I wanted a mirror that not only had the regular magnification, I wanted the five times magnification, but I wanted it to be able to light up on both sides. And this one does, both sides light up. And I am so happy about that because when I'm on the five times magnification, I was always having a hard time because I couldn't see without that light there as good. So I'm really happy to be able to get this one because it does do the lighting up on both sides. And it is a five inch, which is almost as big as your face is. So you can completely see your whole face instead of just one of those three or three and a half inch ones that are so small that you have to kind of move it around and decide which part of your face you want to see. So that's it. 
for today's video and the fun Amazon finds that I found off of TikTok. I hope that you did enjoy it. Do you have anything that you went down the TikTok rabbit hole and found that you'd like to share with us? I'd love to hear about those down below in the comment section. Thank you all so much for tuning in today and spending a few minutes with me. I hope everybody is doing well. Let's all meet back here really soon in my next video and I love you very much. Take care. Goodbye, my friends.